manager forced to lock up the water supply after repeated attempts to steal it. She blames squatters. We wanted to know, can anything be done about it? Chris Woodard getting answers tonight. He's live in Southeast Portland. Chris, this is a new one. We've heard plenty of stories about squatters and vacant property. Well, now the people staying at this home accused not only of being squatters, but some of the people that stayed there at one point in time accused of coming across the street here and stealing water. This spins. Janet Cleveland never imagined she'd have to go this far. You can't get, see? It just, sure. just keeps turning. You can't get to it. Padlocking the spigot outside the apartment complex she manages. I was shocked that someone would actually sneak in, steal your water, and then just turn around and leave like it's normal. I learned she and her renters have caught people in the act three times over the last few weeks, filling up five gallon jugs. Now locked, they can't do it anymore, but that means her tenants can't use the spigot either. She tells me at least once the thief left and walked right across the street where she says squatters are occupying this home. You guys know anything about it? I went to find out what they knew. They didn't want to talk, claimed they didn't live there. Who does live here? Do you know the owner? Don't disrespect my space. Are you going to talk to me at all about who owns the house or anything? We're just trying to be fair, man. Neighbors say the homeowner is trying to get the people kicked off the property. Utilities have been cut off to the home, thus the need for water. We're not even allowed to run the sprinklers because of the cost of water. Why should someone else get our water for free when we can't even use it for what we need it for? I used property records to find the homeowner. No answer at the door and no return phone call when I left a message. So I contacted police. They tell me there have been seven police reports written at the home already this year. They say they're working on stopping the neighborhood problems, but the home is a foreclosure. Current owner not helpful, so there is only so much they can do. I just wish they'd get rid of them. Uh, police say that they can't just kick someone off a property without having a responsible homeowner or without any legal authority. They say that's what's going on in this situation. Now, we're also trying to get some answers from the city, Bureau of Development Services, about what, if anything, they're doing. We'll have that for you tonight at 7 o'clock. For now, live in southeast Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.